I'm going to give you a persuasive speech and drinking in the military. Uh, the main purpose is to highlight the danger of drinking. The specific purpose is to let it be known, you know, uh, the kind of issues we're facing in the military. And the central idea is to considerable is to tell you about the considerable evidence that we find pertaining to drinking and what drinking can lead up to, such as alcoholic, uh, you know, alcoholism. Uh, we don't really need it to socialize. Uh, <clears throat> at this time, is drinking a problem in the military? Many of us may uh, admit it, many of us might not. But I, for one, know drinking is a serious problem. As a fairly young soldier, I've seen my fair share of drinking, and I've seen the devastation that it creates. We as soldiers may view drinking as a social and necessary substance, but ultimate, ultimately, drinking leads to loss of money, friends, and lives. Uh, the goal today is to give the audience uh, a little bit of studies uh, done and drinking by the, uh, we call it Veterans of Fear, and various personnel that uh, study drinking within military uh, confines. To begin, let's analyze drinking and why is it so prevalent. <clears throat> Although the government spent millions of dollars trying to fight the drinking in the military. They try ways of deglamorizing drinking. However, it seemed not to be working. Drinking has increased while the money to finance such programs decrease. I find that absurd because we don't help <clears throat> Good morning, my name is uh, Derek Lawson and today I will be giving you a persuasive speech and drinking in the military. Our general purpose is to highlight the dangers. Uh, the specific is to give you an idea what uh, drinking and socializing can cause. The idea, the general idea is to show evidence that attribute to drinking alcoholic beverage uh, while you know, enlisted in the armed services. Is drinking a problem in the military? Many of us may want to admit that it is, but I for one know that drinking in the military is a problem. As a fairly young soldier, I often seen my fair share of drinking. Drinking sometimes destroy one's career, ultimately one's life. We as soldiers may view drinking as a social and necessary substance. We have a good time with friends and comrades, but if we stop just for a moment, we'd realize the depth of this problem. My goal today here is to give you, the audience, an overall understanding of the studies done by the Veterans Affairs Medical Center. To begin, let's analyze drinking and why it's so prevalent in our military. <clears throat> Although the government spent millions of dollars combating this problem, to deglamorize drinking, financial support has decreased. Drinking has increased while the money decreased. I find that absurd because if we don't, if we don't help our own, who's going to help us? This problem is deeply rooted in our military system and affects are numerous and permanent. What major step can we take to aid this problem? Well, I've asked myself that question several times.
working in different working in different ways to effectively attack this academic epidemic is going to take more than money. A lot of folks who truly see this devastating problem, the Pentagon spent two million dollars to initiate that guy program. The program recommends that service member reject bench drinking because it de detracts from things that you care about like family, money, friends. Are you convinced? Well, in my effort to, del to elaborate about a not so glamorous situation about our military, I hope you are. I went into this topic knowing that we had <clears throat> a real drinking problem in our service, but reading more documented occurrence gave me even a more in-depth look, a more in-depth understanding of the issue. Serious crimes, mental and emotional issues. From my experience as a soldier who chose to remain sober, especially while in uniform, has widened my awareness about this issue. I have seen young soldiers end their career before it even begins. I have seen fatalities from DUIs. I even seen family destroyed, and I am only one of many soldiers. I can only imagine your stories. Think about it, and if you can, help someone that you know are currently going through these issues. The military launches advertisement, that guy, hoping to glamorize drinking, hoping to get the attention of others, hoping to make that difference in a soldier's life. Ways they do is, ways they approach is by pouring money, establish army substance abuse programs, and at the unit level, establish a breathalyzer, random breathalyzer uh, system to test if soldiers are drunk on duty. To conclude, I would not, <clears throat> we may not realize it, but alcohol is the beginning. It leads to drug usage and crime. Yes, in this military. There are reports of soldiers pulling guns on each other. This sounds like a private war. Amongst others, there is more gruesome crime committed by groups of all U.S. soldiers. In case you didn't know, there are soldiers in Iraq raping, killing families after drinking several cans of local whiskeys supplied by Iraqi soldiers. You don't see a problem here? Well, I guess you're too sober. Despite the military banning all alcoholic beverage in Iraq and Afghanistan, liquor is cheap and easy to find. Soldiers are finding ways to self-medicate the combat stress, depression, frustrations of extended deployment said military defense commanders and doctors who treat soldiers emotionally. To summarize, I told you a fairly easy to follow story on our military drinking problem. The Pentagon is trying to combat with money. The Pentagon create advertisements, that guy, to spread the awareness of bench drinking. However, the problem still remains. At this time, what are your questions? Yeah, Soren, I have one. How, how is uh, sexual assault linked to al alcohol? Uh, one way you could li link sexual assault to alcohol is drinking sometimes gets you somewhat uh, aggressive. And when one is aggressive, it could lead up to a potential assault. I have a question. Well, how easy is it 
uh, to get treatment for alcoholics? Uh, it's very easy to get treatment uh, based on the fact that the Army have a substance abuse program. Uh, we tend to call it you know, ASAP. And one way you could get that is by self-referral or commander's referral. Okay. Good question. Yeah, Who's at risk of uh, binge drinking? Uh, typically you have young soldiers that's uh, at risk. Soldiers that maybe don't have uh, much friends, eventually they get a little bit of friends and friends are able to influence um, some of their social activity. And drinking is always involved and that's how we tend to have uh, bench drinking come into play. If there are no further questions, that concludes my speech. Thank you very much and have a nice day. Again, thank you very much. Sorry, you should have get the last sound. piece. Check sound. Yeah, the sound is good. Forty-two. Yeah.